Hi, Nick Wood here, and I thought I'd share with you how to make a very simple Facebook banner video. It's quick, it's easy, you just need some free Camtasia software. You can use your editing software that comes with your Mac or PC, and it just gives your Facebook page that little extra zing that people might stop and have a look. So anyway, I hope you like it. If you do, please uh, share the video if you will. Otherwise, uh, yeah, enjoy and make your own. They're very simple to do. First things first, you want to go into Camtasia, which is a free piece of software you can download from Google. And you need to tell it initially the width and height of the pictures you want to make. Um, I go 1600 by 700. Seems to fit nicely for this Facebook um, banner. So there you can see it's actually loaded up as a nice template. So I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to add in Nick Wood. Put a space in there between a Nick and a W. And it's quite easy to align it. And then another subheading. My little tag, learn, do, teach. And again, just maneuver it. So I want to put that right in the middle and then underneath that little bit of body text so just click on that title brings up the box and I just want to put my uh, messenger name so ask Nick Wood or at ask Nick Wood it should be so now we have a very basic design our black on a white background so what I want to do is actually just move that there. I just want to change the, the background. Oh, no, actually, first thing, let's let's make that spacing a little bit bigger. So highlight it, you've got a spacing bar, and just drag that. And that just elongates the word. So I just wanted to make, well, self-promotion, wanted to make myself look bigger. <laughs> when actually, if you knew how tall I was, um, you'd understand why. Okay, so just make sure everything's lined up nicely. So then I'm going to click on the background button and make some duplicates so now I've got two so I've got a white one to start with and I want to change the background so I click on background I've got the color palette so I'm going to kick off with a nice red one and lo and behold there's a red background and actually really cool it's actually changed the uh, changed the writing um, to white so you can actually read it which is excellent um, I was going to do that manually. So I now want a black one. So I just literally just copying. I don't want to move anything because it's all going to go seamlessly. So again, just copy the previous one. The text hasn't moved. All I'm doing is just changing the background color. It is as simple as that. Seriously easy. There you go. So we've got a white one, a black one, a red one, a blue one. Only four, that's fine. You know, we don't want to make it too uh, too complicated. And the next thing to do is just download it, give it a title. So I'll call it Nick Wood Banner. Done, and then download. Just wait a little while while it downloads. And what this is going to give us is those four separate designs all in one little folder that we can then upload into our video editing software. I'm going to be using mine, which is Camtasia, which is a paid version, but um, it's the same for iMovie or, or Windows Movie Player, I believe. So well, there you go. There's Nick Wood Banner. There's our three or four things. We load them into the media bay. And we want to then drop them into the play line. So there we go. And this will be, like I say, this will be the same. So you're just going to be dropping them down all onto the one one track next to each other. And what we want for Facebook, we need them to be we need them to be uh, the 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 video length needs to be. Uh, what is it? Just over 20 seconds, minimum 20 seconds. So we've got those in there. So we've moved them, made them, and then we're going to add the add the effect. Now this is going to give the motion effect. So it's a transition. We're transitioning between the different photos. 
I just got to think of a good one. Gradient wipe. That was the one I used, I think. So you just literally drag and drop them in between the clips. Very simple to do. And as I say, that's going to that's going to give the motion. That will that will make it a movie as opposed to just random pictures changing. I mean, it still would be a it still would be a video, but probably not the greatest one. So now what we're going to do is actually make these. Yeah, so it's going to be too long otherwise. So let's make it a little bit snappier. I'm going to make them all two seconds. There's a two second clip of each picture with a transition. And, you know, it'll, it'll look good at the end. Quickly whiz through those. There you go. And now you can see exactly what's happening. And the reason I'm doing this is because, you know, Facebook have now allowed us to do it. So normally when Facebook wants us to do something, uh, it's a good idea to do it. Um, so yes, so I want to add a little bit of music to it. So I've come into YouTube and unfortunately you can't, uh, you can't edit much in YouTube anymore, but they have left us with the audio library. And this is a library of free uh, music and sound effects that you can use. Um, I don't want to put any Creative Commons elements on, so I'm not going to pick anything with a little little person in, in the circle. But um, yeah, Right To Be, that sounds like a, a good enough song, Jingle Punks. And so I'm just going to download that. And then I'm going to import that into our media library, our media bin. Import away. So now I'm going to drag that into the track above our new little video. And of course it's a bit long so I need to cut it down. I say it's easy to, easy to do. I'm just going to clip it at this playhead here. And then also, once I've clipped it, I want to then give a little bit of a audio effect, which will just slow and quieten the music towards the end. It's just, it's just so, you know, if the music's loud, bang, 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 it doesn't drop straight off, so it just fades out at the end of the video, which uh, is nice, nice effect, I think. There you go, it's looking good. So we just want to share it. So I'm going to download it as a as a local file. Everything's where I want it to be. And that'll just download nicely. Oh, hello, hello, will it be on Twitter? I should have uh, should have switched my emails off when I was making this video. Right, once we've downloaded it, we now want to upload it into Facebook. So I've got a test, little test Facebook here. So you click on the, the load photo video button and choose your video. And that just uploads. It, it does take a little time. I'll speed up the sequence here. And there it is. And you can now drag and drop it into the right position. So I'm just going to bring it up a touch too much. I don't want the two black edges showing on, our, on top or bottom. I want it to be fairly central. Click Next. And yeah, I'm going to choose to automatically replay the whole video as a loop. And there you go. That's it. That's our button done. And that is how you put a live, live, not live is it? That's how you put a scrolling video onto your Facebook business page banner.